Mark ran an MT and seismic study over the eastern side of our project. The transect ran across the Messima Lake and the Mullen Lake faults, and they established or determined that those are deep structural features just like the Lauder Lake Cadillac deformation zone. We're exploring the Blake River, and the Blake River section of Kirkland Lake is much different than a lot of the other rock assemblages in the area. It's not really the classic Kirkland Lake rock suite, but one of the most exciting discoveries made in the Blake River, in fact, the last big discovery made in Kirkland Lake was in the Blake River, and it was done by a company called Queenston with a deposit called the Upper Beaver. East side of our project is more than 20 kilometers long. And these kind of deposits don't happen in isolation. It's a gold and copper intrusive related thing. So imagine a swarm of igneous intrusions in the Blake River rocks, and then surrounding those intrusions, you get uh, various types of mineralization, gold and copper rich, uh, where you know the rock that gets cooked up at the contacts of these intrusions, uh, little elbows and bends, different kind of veins, different collecting kind of pools, if you will. So we were looking for potentially more of this type of stuff. And we came across, uh, thanks to that geophysics survey, the, um, the hurricane area. And when looking at that, it matched up really nicely um, and aesthetically looked very similar to what you could see at Upper Beaver. A lot of the same characteristics. You get this kind of inside donut mag low, outside rim mag high, and then a swarm of uh, uh, dikes and, and, and intrusive bodies, cyanite, cyanite porphyries, and really um, one of the characteristics of that is that you get on the contacts, you get all this magnetite, you get epidote, you get weird alteration, things like that. So that entire thing is three kilometers by seven kilometers, so it's absolutely massive. And what we did is we sent our team out to ground truth exactly what was going on there. We went out there, we looked at a few spots, and we were really thrilled about what we found. We found the magnetite, the epidote, the mineralization, the sulfides, the chalcopyrite, all of that. So we couldn't wait, took tons of samples, uh, sent those into the lab. Early indi indications are great. We've got copper, we've got gold. We're getting back gold and copper numbers that are exciting and very indicative that the potential exists. It's this, this intrusion that's coming almost vertically up. It looks like it's a feeder zone and the rocks are completely cooked there. They're stockwork veining, and what that means is that we have that heat source. We have something that drove those fluids up there, and then surrounding that entire area, we have copper and gold mineralization. So, you know, the stars are really aligning around Hurricane. We can't wait to get in there and drill it. That's really the next step, um, along with uh, a lot more pro prospecting. We've got the right geophysics. We've got the right rocks. We've got the right structures got mineralization, copper and gold numbers. An incredible property that's 53 kilometers long, 38,000 hectares. It's, a, it's a, an amazing opportunity. So when do you buy a pair of winter boots? You know, you buy winter boots in the spring when they go on sale. When do you buy our stock? You buy it now because we're incredibly undervalued. Stay tuned, uh, Hurricane, let's go.